Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you save a document for the first time, you must use the Save As command so that you can choose where to save the file and what to name it. To do this, click the File tab within the ribbon. Then click the Save As command in the command panel shown at the left side of the backstage view. To the right side of the command panel, under the Places section, you will see the places that are available for you to save the file. These include your SkyDrive folder for Microsoft user accounts and your computer. When you save to your SkyDrive folder, the documents will be saved on an online computer that you can access from any computer as long as you have access to your Microsoft user account. If you select a computer choice, the file will be saved locally on the computer at which you are working. If you are signed into your computer and Microsoft Office 2013 by using a Microsoft user account, then you can click the SkyDrive choice under the Places section to save to your online SkyDrive folders. After selecting this choice, you will see any recently selected SkyDrive folders shown to the right under the Recent Folders section. You can click on a recently accessed folder to select it as the save location. At that point, a Save As dialog box will appear. If you have no folders listed under the Recent Folders section, then instead click the Browse button to open a Save As dialog box where you can select the desired folder within the SkyDrive to use for the save operation. Alternately, you can choose to save the file to your computer versus the SkyDrive. You may choose to do this if you are not signed into Microsoft Office 2013 and using a Microsoft user account or if you know that you will not need to access the file on any other computers. If this is the case, then you can select the computer choice under the Places section. Just as when saving to the SkyDrive, you can select a recently used folder on your computer from the Recent Folders section, or click the Browse button in order to open the Save As dialog box. After selecting a location to save the document file, the Save As dialog box appears. In this dialog box, enter a file name into the file name field. File names should be short and descriptive. Word will not let you use the following symbols in a file name. The colon, the forward slash, the backslash, the greater than and less than signs, the asterisk, double quotes, or the pipe symbol. Give it a name that you will remember and be sure to remember to which folder you saved it. This latter step is often more crucial. People will often remember what they call a file, but can't remember into which folder they saved it. Once you have entered the file name and noted the save location, click the Save button within the Save As dialog box to finish saving the file. Once you've named the file and saved it, its name will appear in the title bar. After that, when you make changes in the future that you want to save, you can click the Save button in the Quick Access toolbar, or click the File tab in the ribbon, and then click the Save command. You will not have to re-enter the file name and select a location. Word will save the changes automatically to the existing file. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.